you, 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 it said that you you haven't found a, a, a sponsor or somebody to to sign a make a professional shoe contract with. What is it going to take to uh, persuade somebody to give you a contract? What what is your pitch? Do you have somebody working on your behalf trying to get a contract, or how does that work? Um, well, at this time, I don't have nobody to represent me. Um, there's been a lot of, since I didn't make the world championship team after NCs, yeah. that's what kind of, uh, you know, helped me back. Yeah, yeah. But I think if somebody can just talk to these companies and just share what type of individual I am and how hard I work and what is my goal, then I think that these two companies will have an interest in me. What about getting uh, Greg Foster or Ronaldo Nehemiah to be an agent? Can you get an agent, or do you have to be at a certain level to get an agent? Uh, no, I can get an agent. I just have to, if you guys are willing to help me, then definitely. Can, can I insert this? Yeah. You know, one of the things is that uh, within the system, um, athletes in, in, in our sport feel now that they have to have an agent in order to facilitate a contact with a shoe company uh, because basically those are the uh, the subsidies for the athlete yeah. outside but I will say that because we've got a lot of ex people who have represented their country in this room Olympians and so on USA track and fields trying to to do some forms of subsidy for those who are that second tier that are still yeah. in the developmental stage but for example with agents this young man has a degree in you know, public policy and management with an emphasis in business. He can represent you know himself. What? He said, I have a college degree. Yeah. I understand what this system is about. Yeah. He's studied and so forth. And he knows you know, uh, a little bit more than what a lot of people anticipate the student athlete to know because they come out with a lack of knowledge about all of this. And uh, as a result, uh, the reason another contract has not consummated is because they've tried to, uh, because of having that injury, and well, we don't know whether what he's going to be able to do, that type of thing, but they've been very, very impressed with the fact that he can represent himself because that's what he got an education to do. Right. Final Larry, you step to the line with him, you better have everything ready. Okay, and he was a brother to you, and that's happened. A week ago, within days of now, he's Lionel still shepherding him about trying to represent himself in order to make it without a contract, in order to be the best he can be and get into meets and so forth without having to rely on having a contract. That's the kind of person Lionel there is. Um, are you uh, eligible to live and train at the Olympic Training Center in Chula Vista? Chula Vista, yes, I am. Uh, I think you have, you have to be a, a USA Track and Field member, and I'm a, I am a USA Track and Field member, okay. so I can train in, um, out there. So. Do you want to do that, or are you, are you, are you, where are you training now? Well, I want to stay with Coach Alex. Oh, okay. But they say if, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So. Oh, okay, okay. I want to stay with Coach Alex. Okay. I'm training with Coach Alex. <laughs> Sky's the limit with that guy right okay, there. Okay, okay. Um, see, 200 is a race that I love. I love the sprint. Coach Ellis asks you, uh, if you ask Coach Ellis, he'll tell you I'm more of a sprinter. I, instead of doing 500 in practice, I love to do 200s. I love to play the 200s. Can I insert this? <laughs> Remember, he couldn't, we didn't do We had to take year after year. Um, I mean, we just had to be patient with it. You know, we had to take baby steps. And, now I'm healthy and ready to full on sprint. And who knows? You know, who knows what that 200 time may be? Um, that's what I'm just looking forward to the next level. I'm done with the collegiate level now. It's a professional level, and I'm just excited to get back to it and start training and see, you know, what the times are going to be. You know, I'm ready. I'm excited. I, I want to say one other thing. I said we went through three operations. The first operation was the very next morning from the time that he was shot. The second operation was to go in, and, and, and the first surgeon was afraid to remove too much because it was so close to the nerve. The second operation we went in, and we got a lot of it out, but not all of it. And he 
ran 45 seconds that year and was in the NC2A regionals running down the backstretch and all of a sudden it was his hamstring, it was his groin. He went down on his face and I'm wondering, he's yelling about his groin, he's grimacing in pain because the pellets were moving through the leg because as the muscle contracts and so forth, you still had there, hit the nerve, his groin. And so he made the decision, came to me and said, I don't care if I can not ever run again, I want another operation in order to try to get everything out. We went to the surgeon, the surgeon said, if I can get a neurologist to help me with this, we'll do it. And that's why he was able to come back this year after the third operation, because by that time, they'd taken everything out. And because of being so close to the nerve. Real quick, um, Usain Bolt said uh, this week that he wants to dedicate 2014 to breaking his own world record in the 200, which is 1919. Uh, if you meet him next summer in the two, uh, how do you deal with that? Usain Bolt is a very special guy. <laughs> and, I mean, he has done uh, great wonders in the, in the track and field. He really took track and field to another level. But my main thing is to go out there and just run my own race. You know, go out there and just do what I do. And when I do what I do, if I can beat him, then yes. But if not, as long as I try my best and I did what I was able to do. So, I mean, you know, until that day, I'm going to be training hard and I'm going to be focused and I'm going to be ready. All right. Good.